Those who lost their jobs because of uh, COVID shutdowns should have been helped with the CERB. But we, everyone should also believe that those hardworking people earning minimum wage, bagging groceries or doing other essential work shouldn't pay taxes to send CERB checks to prisoners or suspected fraud cases. And now we find that the government sent out 800,000 CERB checks to people who had not even filed taxes in the preceding year, failing to prove they were eligible for that money. What did the government do to ensure that the money didn't go to people who didn't earn the right to receive it? Mr. Speaker, our income support programs have played a fundamental role in getting Canadians through the first wave of the COVID crisis, and they're going to get Canadians through the second wave. When it comes to fraud, that is completely unacceptable, and the hardworking public servants in the CRA are doing an outstanding job, and they are going to make sure that all claims are legitimate.